So James O'Keefe has now apparently been thrown out of Project Veritas, which means Project Veritas no longer has like any reason for being, from what I understand. The rationale for him being thrown out of Project Veritas is absolutely unclear. They're claiming that he was mean to employees or something, which is a strange claim for why you would throw out the face of the organization, the only prominent person who works at your organization and the lead fundraiser for your organization. Project Veritas, of course, James has spent years going undercover. I've known James since before the ACORN scandal broke during the, the Andrew Breitbart days. So that's going back you know, 15 years. And James has always been somebody who's very controversial, goes about things in his own way. He also happens to be responsible for breaking an enormous amount of news over the course of the last 15 years by going undercover and by actually getting people to admit things on tape that they would rather not have admitted on tape, including most recently admissions from high-ranking members of Pfizer that they were engaged in what kind of sounds like gain-of-function research. Well, now, according to the Washington Post, Project Veritas has split with O'Keefe, the group's founder and chairman, following a bitter management dispute that pulled back the curtain of allegations of workplace misconduct and mismanagement of donor money. The group's executive director informed some staff on Monday that O'Keefe had issued an ultimatum demanding the board of directors resign as a condition for him to stay. And apparently the board of directors said that they then removed him. Now, I don't know how he constructed his board. Typically, when you construct a board of directors for a 501c3, you put allies on the board. So maybe there are other issues we don't know about. If there are no other issues we don't know about, if what all that's happening here is that the board doesn't like how James is running the organization, I do not understand the logic here. James, effectively speaking, is the public face of the organization. Here was James announcing his ouster yesterday. The only way to defeat us is if they take our spirit. And from the looks of things, many of us remain completely undefeated and unbroken. So our mission continues on. I'm not done. The mission will perhaps take on a new name and it may be no longer called Veritas, Project Veritas. I'll need a bunch of people around me and I'll make sure, I'll make sure you know how to find me. And I'll quote the, when you invited me to New York City and did that little uh, stand up, how, how fitting that from Shakespeare, quote, and this story shall the good man teach his son. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers and sisters. Okay, so. You know, James is obviously going to continue to be successful. He'll go and find and, and found another organization if he has to. Uh, I am confused as to what exactly was going on inside the organization, unless they are fully transparent about what went on here. And there, again, there's a part of the story that's not being told. It makes no sense to me. And it is a, a loss to active journalism uh, to, to oust O'Keefe, who's been responsible for, again, an enormous amount of breaking news over the course of the past few years. Well, your government obviously fibs to you. And here is the problem. You probably paid them too much money over the course of the past few years. At least that's very likely. If your business has five or more employees and managed to survive COVID, you could be eligible to receive a payroll tax rebate of up to $26,000 per employee. See, here's the thing. The government took a bunch of money from you over the course of the last few years in taxes. You might not have needed to pay all of that. This isn't a loan. There's no payback. It is a refund on taxes you shouldn't have paid in the first place. The challenge is how do you get your hands on it? Go to getrefunds.com. Their team of tax attorneys are highly trained in this little known payroll tax refund program. They've already returned $1 billion to businesses and they can help you as well. They do all the work, no charge up front, simply share a percentage of the cash they get for you. Businesses of all types can qualify, including those who took PPP, nonprofits, even those who had increases in sales. Just go to getrefunds.com, click on qualify me, answer a few quick questions. This payroll tax refund is only available for a limited amount of time. Do not miss out. Go to getrefunds.com. Again, that is getrefunds.com. Go check them out right now. Getrefunds.com. See if maybe you can get some of the money back that you shouldn't have paid to the government in the first place. That's getrefunds.com. Click on qualify me. Answer a few quick questions to get started. Now, Joe Biden is wobbling around. He didn't look so great these days. You know what he could use? Some balance of nature. Here's the thing. I don't like vegetables. They taste terrible. This is why I use a balance of nature because living that healthy lifestyle, it isn't all that easy. Balance of nature fruits and veggies, however, are a great way to make sure you are getting essential and nutritional ingredients every single day. Their products are 100% whole food. Balance of Nature uses a cold vacuum process that preserves the natural phytonutrients in whole fruits and vegetables and encapsulates them for easy consumption. Balance of Nature sent a bunch of their product down to the studio for my team to try. We love them. It was I was excited to find out the product is actually kosher, which means that I can actually use it. And I have been using it. You should do the same thing. Go to balanceofnature.com. You can use promo code Shapiro. Get 35% off your first order as a preferred customer. Plus, that free fiber and spice. That's balanceofnature.com. Promo code Shapiro. Get 35% off your very first 
preferred order. I've been using balanceofnature.com myself. I can tell you the Balance of Nature products make it easier for me to hit my nutritional goals. They can do the same for you. Go to balanceofnature.com, use promo code Shapiro, get 35% off that first order as a preferred customer. And again, get that free fiber and spice as well. The House Republicans have now given access to Tucker Carlson to 44,000 hours, 41,000 hours of capital surveillance footage from the January 6th riot. I think this is good. Again, full transparency would have been a good thing in the first place. I am bewildered as to why House Democrats didn't do this. If they were so confident about their narrative that there was no one encouraging the riots or that the police were not facilitating or any of this sort of stuff, then why not just release all the footage? I'm always very curious when people won't release all the footage in cases like this. It's always strange. Maybe they have some reasons they haven't quite expressed as of yet, but releasing it to Tucker, the left, of course, is going nuts because how dare you give it to Tucker Carlson? Well, why not? You guys give it to your favorite people in the media all the time. Apparently, according to Axios, Carlson says, if there was ever a question that's in the public's interest to know, it's what actually happened on January 6th. By definition, the video will reveal it. It's impossible for me to understand why any honest person would be bothered by that. This is correct. I'm, I'm very confused as to why it was not given out to the public in the first place. Like, make it searchable online if you can. What's the problem with it? So good for Kevin McCarthy for doing that. I think that, again, transparency is in the public interest, particularly on matters of high public tension like this one. Okay, other things that I like. So over the weekend, Bernie Sanders has a new book coming out. The fact that Bernie Sanders is considered like an actual valuable, valuable human in today's political day and age demonstrates how crazy today's politics are. He has a book titled, It's Okay to Be Angry About Capitalism. It is by Bernie Sanders, as well as John Nichols, who I guess is probably his ghostwriter or something. And, uh, and presumably it is about his lake house. According to his Amazon description, a progressive takedown of the uber capitalist status quo that has enriched millionaires and billionaires at the expense of the working class, a blueprint for what transformational change would actually look like. So it'd be Das Kapital from the senator from Vermont, who's been a career useless person, like totally useless his entire career. So useless he was kicked out of a commune when he was a younger man. So useless that he was kind of a deadbeat with regard to his own kids, apparently, for a while. Sanders argues that unfettered capitalism is to blame for an unprecedented level of income and wealth inequality is undermining our democracy and is destroying our planet. How can we accept an economic order that allows three billionaires? Well, how can we accept a political system? This, by the way, is always the shtick of our newfangled socialists. How can we accept X? And then you're like, well, what is the alternative to X? Like, it doesn't even matter. How can we accept it? Well, what's your plan for not being? We're not even going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about that. How can we accept that bad things happen in life? Why do we allow people to die? There should be no death. Death is very bad. You know, like, well, can you explain how you're going to cure? No, that's not, it's a result of capitalism. It's a, if you just replace everything that Bernie Sanders asks about with the word death, you understand how nonsensical any of his arguments are? Because again, he doesn't ever argue for his preventative measures. All he does is just critique the status quo, which is the easiest game in the entire world. He says the path forward has to be, okay, so he was asked over the weekend by Margaret Brennan on CBS News about the fact that he is now doing events where uh, the tickets are selling for 95 bucks a pop. And for, well, if you're a good communist, why aren't they free? Why don't you eat the cost? You're rich. Uh, he has no good answer. Tickets for your tour apparently are selling for $95 oh. on Ticketmaster, which is con accused of anti-competitive behavior. You know that. Some of your Democrats are criticizing them. Aren't you benefiting yourself no, from this I, system that you're all, trying to dismantle? First of all, those decisions are made totally by the publisher and the bookseller. I think there's one case where in one place here in Washington, po uh, politics and pros and independent books are charging some tickets. Most of them, I think, are $40, $50, and you get a book as well. So if you want to come, you're going to have to pay 40 bucks. I'll throw in the book for free. And we're doing a number of free uh, events, but I don't make a nickel out of these things at all. But you're okay doing business with Ticketmaster? No, not particularly, but that's, again, I have nothing to do with that. That is, if you wrote a book, probably be the same process. Everyone has the same process, but I'm not going to do anything about it. Uh, I have a question. Did he get in advance? How much money is he actually making off of his book? How much money is he made total? That dude has a lake house. You have a lake house? Bernie Sanders should not. He is a socialist, right? Redistribute your lake house, dude. That's his third house, I believe. So uh, good stuff there from, uh, from Bernie. And uh, you, you have to love the irony of all these very, very wealthy socialists who live in enormous houses. Bernie Sanders, Hassan Piker, Joe Biden is doing real well for himself. Like it's, it's, it's a, it's a wonderful thing to be able to live off the excesses of capitalism while criticizing the system that makes you rich and famous. It really is a wonderful thing. All righty, guys, the rest of the show is continuing right now. You're not going to want to miss it. We'll be getting into the mailbag. You have to be a member to actually have your question answered. If you're not a member, become a member right now. Use code Shapiro at checkout for two months free on all annual plans. Click the link in the description and join us.